DKC, uh, which means društveno kulturni centar uh, in translation social cultural space from Sarajevo is a self-formed uh, collective uh, that was uh, formed with the help of organizations from Belgium, uh, Albania, Kosovo and Macedonia around 2020. Uh, they came to Sarajevo to help the youth of Sarajevo to form a center like this one. Uh, first uh, activity was to form a skate park on Ilija uh, and then they helped us to form a, a, like a closed uh, closed cultural center in uh, old hangars in university uh, space uh, which we used for half a year in campus uh, space uh, that we had uh, we organized uh, uh, some activities that included uh, music performances workshops and uh, movie screenings Unfortunately, we had to move from that space because uh, there was a plan to, uh, do, uh, to build a park there. So we occupied another space in a city center uh, that was originally a modernistic villa used by Writers Association. Uh, we had the luck that the owners were open to uh, give us the space to use it uh, but also we had to do some repairs to the space which were not, not constructural just some minor repairments for the space to be usable uh, and there for the next uh, half a year until now uh, we use the space for variety of activities. Uh, when we switched places, an uh, interesting thing that we noticed was how our activities uh, in the space were formed by the space itself. So in the uh, first place that we had in campus, which was a big uh, hangar, hangar place, uh, we made events that were for the masses uh, and in this space our activities became more intimate in a small groups, uh, small workshops and that type of activities. Uh, and also the new space is divided by smaller rooms so uh, at the same time we held a different activities in different rooms. So here at DKC we organize all kinds of activities. Uh, primarily we focus on cultural events and facilitating young unaffirmed artists and letting them uh, have uh, space uh, to show off their, showcase their, their art. Also we do uh, social issues, events related to social issues. Uh, where we have organized lectures such as uh, relating to uh, migrant crisis, ecological issues and such. Um, also we have fun events, parties, we have uh, game nights uh, and uh, we basically make an effort to do as much as possible everything that would uh, contribute to our local community and everything we see fit and everything we see that there is a need for that kind of event. From the moment we arrived at our new space we faced a lot of challenges uh, from construction work to an, a lack of electricity, lack of water supply and similar stuff. Basically it was a demolished space. Uh, we immediately started resolving all of those as much as we could. Uh, our primarily, pr primarily goal was to, uh, was to get back the water supply because 
uh, we couldn't do anything without water. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we did, we organized a fund, a crowdfunding campaign, and we were able to, after two months, to uh, gather the funds we needed to get the water back, back and running. Uh, that's one thing. Other thing was just cleaning up the space that was uh, full of trash and uh, make, make it uh, a bit our own with art and everything. So we have to ask ourselves why is there a need for the Ikatsi Sarajevo? Why is there a need to approach abandoned spaces and to create something else? Uh, there are several reasons for that. First of all, let's start out from, from the city Sarajevo. Uh, when we take into account alternative counterculture, youth, uh, their choices of, let's say, free expressions are, expressions are very limited. Uh, most of the spaces that they can sort of creatively uh, express themselves are either owned privately or don't have uh, the right sort of uh, conditions for them to, 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 to fully experiment with all sorts of uh, things that come with the youth in, in such extent. So uh, Decades of Sarajevo came out of a need for such a space in general. Another thing is uh, the aspect of community. While well, Sarajevo is a capital city of Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, overall there is not much uh, choices when it comes to uh, spaces where a person can maybe try to explore a diff different political sort of narrative to uh, maybe engage with subcultures that they don't usually have a chance to do in the publicly owned cultural spaces. Uh, and again, uh, they can say it's not only there to sort of uh, provide space for different activities, especially for the youth, but it's also there to send a message. And the message is that public spaces belong to the people and not to the, of course, the overwhelming capital that is privatizing a huge amount of urban sort of area in order for them to build skyscrapers. So we are, through our activities, just by creating a space of free expression, space where people could, uh, without paying any fees, do whatever they want to do from workshops, lectures, organize concerts, uh, exchange thoughts, etc. Uh, through all of those activities, we are sort of sending a message to the city, which is uh, we are fighting, we are fighting for our space, we are fighting for our expressions through create creative ways. So in that sense, they can say is, is a creative engine of urban uh, conflict. 